You know, all us Aussies love going on about the value of real estate in Australia. But what about the wasted real estate that might be sitting right there in your home? You are the answer I've been looking for. Yes, you are the reason to be something. For our next Renault project, we're back at Bill and Helen's house. Hello, Hello Bill. Bill. Lovely to, to meet, meet you. you. Remember, they're the Armed Forces Hi, family we met a few weeks back on the show when Joe and I renovated their laundry. <laughs> The space it's so much bigger. Hello, Helen. Hey, Ed. Oh, I hear you have another patient for me. I know, Ed. It's a sad, sad little room. Should we have a look? Definitely. Well, let's do it. <laughs> Should I brace myself for shock on what I'm about to see? Oh, it's not that bad. <laughs> Ta da! Wow, a bit of a bits of room. Let me just take a breath. Let me just take it. Yeah, but you know what? A lot of people, I think, would relate to this problem. If you've got a spare room in your house, you just utilise it for everything you've got. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you do have this window here that looks out to this beautiful courtyard. Yeah. How do you even get out there? Well, we've got to go back down the hallway, turn around and go back out the back and... <laughs> so do a U-turn. Do a U-turn. <laughs> yes, it's a bit of a pack your lunch. How would you like to see this room used, but? I'd like to use it as a spare room. Bill's mum comes down a lot, yeah. so I need... A proper room for her. Yeah. I currently work at my, the dining room table. I did see that. So I, somewhere to work in the piece would be yeah. good. And I do yoga a lot and I do that in the family room but I've got to move everything out of the way to do it and then yeah, so, so somewhere I can do the yoga but then I can pack it away if I've got guests coming to yeah. use the bed. Beautiful. So it's sort of like a multi-purpose room. Yes. Yes. That's not much of a challenge. I think we can work yeah. with that. <laughs> present for you, mate. Merry Christmas. This room really was a bad use of space. So the idea is to open it up. The bed is going and we're putting in a new one, but this one will be wall mounted. So you can fold it up out of the way and have a lot of area to play or work in or just do some yoga. And for the window, that's going to go and we're going to replace it with some bifold doors, which will open this room up and connect you to the outside. Boys, just watch the wall, please. You're doing a good job. <laughs> this old carpet was never going to work with Helen's yoga, so it's got to go. Taking a window out isn't a DIY job, so you might need a carpenter to help you out. And now the window's ready to come. You all right, boys? You gotta love the old flashing. <laughs> to create the opening we need, the guys first go outside and remove the brickwork. Then they come inside, remove the plasterboard and the frame. And that gets us down to floor level. I will be yours for now. <laughs> How good is this looking? Let's just open the whole place right up. And with the frame in, it's all plumbed up. That means we're ready to get these beautiful doors on. Looking good, mate. I was talking about you when I said beautiful. <laughs> Look how smooth that is. And you can really tell that this is definitely worth the investment. And the best part is, it's easy access to the courtyard. And as for the new view, well, I know it doesn't look like much right now, but Melissa's dropping by soon with a plan. The carpet in this room had definitely seen better days. So now that's gone, we're freshening the place up with these beautiful natural oak floating floorboards. Come 
up beautifully. Hey, Melissa, you made it. I did, and I'm loving what you've done with the floors. That's gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah. And what about this? I know, it's really opened the space up. I can see the garden, it's yeah. perfect. That's it, so what are your plans here you? Let's have a look. All right, I'll show you. All right, so this area is tight, but it's got heaps yes. of potential, and I'm loving that you can kind of view it through the windows and from every side. Yeah. So I'm thinking we need to put some steppers down. Beautiful. Just to sort of meander through the garden. Yeah. I'm going to soften it with a little bit of planting. Mm. With some lush green foliage, get some pops of colour in there as well. But what about these sticks? <laughs> sticks. Adam, they're much more than sticks. Oh. These are quarter lines. Oh, yeah, that's So awesome. Helen wants to keep them. So oh, okay. they do add a bit of height to the space, so we'll just work around them in the design, I think. And then I've got an idea for some seats that sort of double as garden art. <laughs> This isn't any ordinary bed. This one folds away. So when it's not in use, you can lift it up and we get all this prime real estate back. All the floor space where Helen can do her yoga. You can buy them online. They come in a flat pack. And my advice is to follow the instructions. It all starts by assembling this metal frame, which is the perimeter of the bed. And I'm just sitting it on these backing boards and screwing it on. first project for our courtyard is the timber sleeper walkway. So I've just got the guys to knock up this support frame for me. Just made out of H4 posts so it won't rot in the ground. And the idea is that we'll lay the sleepers out along our support frame. I'm also putting some road base in here and we'll compact it in and around the frame just to hold everything in place. Then we can lay out those sleepers. When I do it, it looks like I'm doing boot scooting with my cowboy boots. <laughs> now we're just going to stagger our sleepers evenly along the frame. I've used a hardwood timber because I wanted to have that nice natural look. And then I've also just oiled them a little bit, just with a timber and decking oil, just to help to protect the timber and really enhance that grain. Then, once Joshy and I have got through all of this, all we need to do is fix them up with some galvanised batten screws. With the bed frame together, now we're setting up the carcass or the bed box on the floor and screwing it off. So what have we got? We've got... That's a T. Oh, gee, as well. What, what's that? Is that air? That's F. Yeah, so basically they've just got a top and a bottom and a middle to hold to hold these together, yeah. it looks yeah. like. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so that that's it. So like so, I said, you just need to follow the instructions. It's the almost self-explanatory. <laughs> <laughs> Just located the studs, then we can push it up against the wall and fix it off. So how does this fold-up bed work? Well, this is the brains of the system. It's spring-loaded and it will get attached to the side of our box here. And that's why it's super important that you locate the studs because you can imagine there's a lot of weight that's happening inside this box when the bed's going up and down. Now, I'll just fix it off in place. How's it going out here, Melissa? Hey, I'm nearly done with the sleepers. Wow, wee, how is the dress timber? The contrasting colours between that hardwood is absolutely amazing. They look good. And the best thing about this system, we haven't had to do much digging. Yep. I didn't have to mud the sleepers in. And once I get some plants and soil in there, it'll look like the sort of sleepers are floating. Floating, yeah, it'll just pop. I could just stand here and look at it all day. It is absolutely beautiful. But you have a bed to build. Oh, yeah, that's what I was doing. <laughs> See you. <laughs> At this point, we start giving ourselves a round of applause. 
I want to dress the view from the inside out and also soften this brickwork. So I've made a super simple plant rail. And what I've done is I've got my hands on some dowel and then I've just given it a coat with external paint and I've threaded some eye bolts through it and then I've just hung it off these hooks from the eaves. And the idea is that we'll fill it with hanging baskets and you'll get all this vertical greenery. So this is how it's all supposed to work. Thanks, Joshy. Okay. That's a beautiful plectranthus. It's looking good. Now we just need more plants. So whenever you're working in an area like this where the soil's a bit tired and old, it's a good idea to bring in some compost, organic matter. We're using a good garden soil mix just to rejuvenate this area and bring it back to life. Well, the bed's looking good. The question is, does it work? <laughs> There's only one way to find out. Oh, the legs away. Gosh, what a great way to save space. That looks fantastic. That's awesome, isn't it? Yeah, it's just looking a little bit plain, though, right? Oh, go easy. I mean, I haven't finished yet. <laughs> so what more is to come? Yeah, so there's going to be some shelving. There's some cabinets to go up. I think it'll look really good. All right, I'm thinking we need to do a feature wall. Yeah, that's think? a good idea. Yeah, what yeah. colour? What about this colour? So it's a grey with a yeah. bit of green running through it. Yeah, nice. And why'd you pick that colour? So I think it'll, it'll pop against the white, yep. complement our plants, and it's also a nice kind of calming colour, I think, for the yoga studio. Very good. Yeah. The only problem is you've only got one plant out there, but <laughs> we've got to start painting, yeah? Yes, let's do that <laughs> first. You want to cut in, old Rob? I'll do the cutting in. I think I need a longer pole. I'm not quite tall <laughs> not enough tall to enough get to, to the, the top, I don't reckon. <laughs> See how we go. <laughs> Absolutely loving this fold up bed, and it works great how it is. But by adding it in, you'll notice that we've ended up with these alcoves on each side. And that's a golden opportunity to create some more storage, and that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to add three shelves on that side, and here we'll have a nice long desk running through. Now, you might say, Adam, I don't have a fold up bed in my bedroom. Well, this might be a wardrobe. You can do exactly the same thing. And what it does, it just integrates this unit into the room perfectly. One of the easiest ways to get a set of shelves is just to use some 19mm plywood. I've just attached a batten on each side to get something to fix into. Must be time for a nap. Don't tell anyone. Oh, this is so comfy. <laughs> this is my favourite part when the planting starts to bring the whole area to life. So our courtyard shaded, but it's also warm and cosy. So I want our shading nook to be full of lots of lush, colourful foliage. And if you're dealing with a small area like this at home, I always think it's still a nice idea to include some plants that have a little bit of height and I want some splashes of foliage colour. So I've got this gorgeous cordyline pink diamond. Can you see that pink running up through the stems and into the foliage? And to finish this bed off, I've just added a couple of handles. How good do they look? They're just recycled fence palings and they've had a white wash put on them, so it just softens the look. And you'll notice that we've lined them up with these shelves. That way, this whole wall now looks like it's one big unit. It doesn't look like the bed's just been placed here. And we've created some great bench space here, and this curb, that just softens the look as well. This is called Ficus ruby, and boy, does it make a statement with that colourful foliage. Now, some of you might actually recognise this as one of your favourite house plants, but, of course, the warmer the garden, or if you've got a nice little microclimate like this, you can, of course, use it outdoors, and it really does make a statement. <laughs> oh, come on, Joshy, warm those muscles up. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You ready for this? Let's do it. Well, 
Oh, this is going to hurt. Ah, there we go. Oh, Jeez, I feel like I'm having a baby. Oh, actually, I don't know what that feels like. You have no idea. <laughs> what are oh, we oh can it fit through? Here? Can it fit Wait through? Wait a minute, this okay. is going to be awkward. I told you to move these I'll sticks. Pull, I'll pull them back a tiny bit. What are they called again? Not sticks. <laughs> quarter lines. Yeah, not quarter sticks. lines. Yeah. Okay, a little to the left. Oh, my goodness, mate. A little mate. to the right. Oh, oh my no, goodness. I've changed my mind. I don't want oh, it. Mamma mia, mamma mia. <laughs> what are we doing? Are we going down? Down. Oh, jeez. Let's rip into this. Now, what is it? What? what Isn't is this it? amazing? So I told you that I had something different in mind for the Ooh. seating. Well, this is it. Oh. So it's kind of like a boulder seat. So it doubles as garden art and seating. And I'm loving this texture. It's just amazing. <laughs> and that rounded form is yep. really going to balance out all those square angles and everything that we've got in the courtyard. Should I give it a test run? Yeah, definitely. It's beautiful. Okay. You could sit next to me. We could make it a love Ooh, seat. Oh, like a love seat? All right. How are you, darling? I did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i tell you what I do like. As heavy as what it was, it is a lot lighter than a boulder of this size, isn't it? Yeah, it but is. I'm just struggling to breathe at the moment. <laughs> Take a break. That was hard work. <laughs> good job. Looks good. That's good. So it's looking pretty dramatic already. We're really starting to fill out this ground level. And I just wanted to highlight some of the plants that I've used. So this one here is a beautiful carex called Feather Falls. I always think that in a place that's a little bit dark or shaded, it's really nice to include some of those plants that have light coloured foliage to really brighten that space. Now I've got this plant at home and my dog just sits on the clumps and then they sort of rejuvenate. So it's a really tough, beautiful plant. And I'm loving how it's softening these boulders. And then, for a pop of colour, I'm using this hemizygia. It's called Candy Kisses. Isn't that variegated foliage just such a gorgeous contrast to those flowers? And it blooms through the cooler months, so you get a burst of colour just when the garden really needs it. And if you're looking for some ground cover for shaded areas, here's some really good choices. So, I've got Hucra, which honestly is one of the best ground covers in this type of spot, and some of this Creeping Charlie. There you go, Charlie. Lucky it's not called Creepy Charlie. <laughs> it does have bursts of blue flowers in the springtime, but really you'd plant it for its foliage alone. And then I tell you what, who can resist filling these little gaps in the sleepers with native violets? Melissa, it is a jungle out here. If I could get this, this hanging get plant on, it would be even better. The rain's not making it any easier. I know, but look, I don't have to water the plants in, right? Definitely. And look, the hanging baskets have now made it green from floor to ceiling. I'm surrounded by greenery, which I'm just loving. So I've used Ripsalis here for yes. a uniform look. And then I've gone a bit wild on this side. So I've got um, different varieties of Plectranthus. So no matter what way you view the garden, you're just going to see green. Another feature of the room is this cabinet that I'm making out of some 19 mil ply. And it's going to be to house a mirror because after all, what's a yoga studio without a mirror? Well, it's not a yoga studio. I've just picked up this mirror off the shelf from the hardware store, but I want to make it multifunctional as well. So I've added in some storage. I walk in like, how do you do? I need a little liquor in me just to set the mood. Not only to be rude or even act a fool. I just need a mirror with an attitude, so... To fill our screw holes, I'm just using a pine filler, which will match our plywood and make our fixings disappear. And then for extra strength, I'm adding a backing board. Not only will this cabinet have a mirror, some storage space, but also I'm adding in a hanging rail. Everyone needs a place to put their man candy. And to attach the cabinet, we've just used a split batten so it interlocks into itself. And once you're happy with the position for the mirror, I've just put some silicon on, some double-sided tape, so now we're ready to throw it in. Well, we won't throw it in, will we, Greg? <laughs> Let's go, mate. Gonna get up there and take what 
There's nothing like a nice, snug fit. My heart was racing then. <laughs> I'm loving how the garden is reflected in the mirror. And just to bring a bit more green inside, I'm just using these gorgeous architectural stems in a vase. This is that philodendron xanadu. All right, are we done? Should we I bring think so. Helen in? Definitely. All right, Helen, come and have a look. Everybody wants a friend. That looks great. The yoga mat has just been rolled out, and you'll notice that we've got this beautiful mirrored cabinet. You can check your posture, making sure you're doing everything right. Is that correct? Yes. <laughs> yes. And by by keeping it off the ground, it just utilises that floor space and actually makes it feel bigger than what it is. This is going to make such a big difference to when I do my yoga practice. It's going to have a nice, soft, springy floor, so I'm not on the hard tiles. Yeah, so it'll be great. And these whitewashed trims, they just sort of soften the space. Adam even made space for your pit bull oh, over there. Pit bull. That's it, that's it. But you must be looking around here, Helen, thinking, I did ask for a bed. Where am I just going to sleep? Yes. Is that correct? We're going to roll out a cot somewhere. Well, well, that's exactly right. There's a little foam mattress in the closet there. Oh, OK. Yes. <laughs> but instead, no, we don't need to do that. We can just pull this down. Put the leg down. Look at that. Oh. Yay! Hey. How cosy is that? I think I found my room. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Bill. Yes, come over. We've got little touches of greenery that tie everything together. Brought a little bit of that inside, or well, outside, I should say, in as well for you. Yeah. Oh, look. Wow. <laughs> a bit nifty, isn't it? I know. When you jump out of bed now, you can go straight to the office. You've got your desk right here. And not only that, by taking out this window and adding in these bifolds, it just opens you up to the outside. Totally different view, right? What do you think? Oh, look, I can't get over how many plants you've been able to put in this area. <laughs> It's a really nice oasis now. Um, I use lots of lush green plants to create a kind of a zen feel in the garden, which is great. So now you can step out onto your sleeper walkway. And these boulders, they're decorative, but they double as seating. Oh, so, OK. Yeah, I won't ask you to take yeah. a seat now. It's a little bit wet. <laughs> so hopefully you can come out here and chill out after your yoga sessions. I know, it'll be actually wonderful when we have a bit of sun. <laughs> <laughs> well, Helen, now you've got a new spot to do your office work your yoga, and even a place <laughs> to send your guests. So enjoy. <laughs> Thank you so much.